So just to carry on from that last video, I've set it all up ever so slightly, well, if we want the tearing to occur, what we have to understand is that because this is like a, a points based system set up, so we've got all the points on this plane shape, um, we need all of this instant stuff to happen after the NPM cloth simulation, okay? So I was getting a bit ahead of myself. So let's just uh, let's give this a go. So we're just going to control plus pause, and I'm going to unplug. No, I'm going to leave the, that plugged in the plane, <clears throat> and I'm going to just drag that up here for now. I'm going to unplug the set instance geometry from here, and I'm going to drag us over here. Um, and I'm going to put the output over here. So basically, all of this should happen after the simulation. Yeah. So what we will do is we will get the... Uh, let's unplug the cloth mesh. And let's plug the cloth mesh into the pass. Okay. So we've got the plane. is going to drop down and do its uh, NPM cloth simulation. All right, and then we're going to take the points from that simulation, yeah, which includes the plane. And so what we do is we've piped the cloth mesh into the pass instead of the plane. All right, and then we pull out from the instances into the output. All right, so what we should be able to do then is go to the NPM cloth, and we should be able to go to um, subdivide and split failure. So I'm just going to come out of pause mode and let that do its fang. And let's just unclick that. Now I've changed a few little things since our last um, animation, but actually let's just go back and connect a few of those things up. Let's get the graph editor up again. I'm just going to plug a couple of these back in. So let's plug in the sphere just to show you that all of this works. Um, and um, indeed, I'm going to plug in the cube as well. So we'll let that compile. And we'll run a simulation and see what we get. So rewind and play. So now we can tell that it's working because it's fallen. It wasn't falling before. And it's going to hit this sphere. Right. These are all sticking to the points more correctly. They're more evenly spaced and staying where they're supposed to stay. Which is amazing. And then we get in the tear in. I mean, that is just absolutely insane. There we go. Look at that. Incredible. Incredible. And look at the speed of it. I mean, now I've created sort of a Disney table. But, I mean, apart from that, insane. So, that is where I was going wrong, guys. So, I apologize for that. But it was just a quick off-the-cuff kind of um, fault. And let's just run that again. Hit play and look at that again. Don't worry about these guys, it's just our original objects. I'll just get rid of them. So now it all makes perfect sense. And we're getting that beautiful that beautiful split in. Um See, so as with the previous video, I was getting a lot of spacing happening. Um, and that's because they were sticking to the original points, not the new NPM cloth points. So if we look at the graph again, now we can understand what's happening. So we've set up our simulation with the plane. So we've got our NPM cloth simulation, the glider and all that. And then that cloth runs into the past, like what we had with the um, plane earlier when we were setting up the instance in. So this is all we need for the instancing when we're doing the cloth. 
um, and then it's just output from the instance to there and it's absolutely incredible um, yeah so go forth and multiply guys and um, I'll be in touch soon with the whole rotation and scale um, issues which I'm on at the moment nice one goodbye